हेलो एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन ऑल माय यंग फ्रेंड्स एट योर ओन चैनल फॉर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर दैट इज लिट ई सिटी फ्रेंड्स एज यू ऑल नो दीज डेज वी आर वर्किंग ऑन स्पेशल सेक्शंस एंड स्पेशली फोकसिंग ऑन द अपकमिंग नेट एग्जाम कल्चरल स्टडीज दिस इज द लेटेस्ट एडिशन इन द सिलेबी ऑलरेडी विच इज वेरी वेरी लार्ज सिलेबस द कमेटी हैज डिसाइडेड टू इंक्लूड कल्चरल स्टडीज फॉर पास टू और थ्री अटैम्प्ट इन नैट वी हैव सीन दैट द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड विद कल्चरल स्टडीज आर गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर प्रोमिनेंस कीपिंग दिस इन माई माइंड आई हैव मेड दिस सीरीज QTM or questions that matter and in this series at present we are working on cultural studies MCQs okay so friends main aapko last jo episodes hain i have already told you that these questions are not taken copied and pasted and all that usual stuff they are basically composed they are basically selected by me on on the basis of uh, last year papers and my reading in the cultural studies of some certain important books like uh, that of pramod nayar sir and simon during जियाउद्दीन सरकार एंड आई हैव मेड दिस क्वेश्चन इन सच अ फॉर्मेट कि नॉट ओनली यू गेट टू नो अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट बट ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट वट आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट राइटर्स एंड कॉन्सेप्ट दो एपिसोड ऑलरेडी हम ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन को डिस्कस कर चुके हैं नाउ दिस इज टाइम फॉर द थर्ड इंस्टॉलमेंट टेन एन अदर क्वेश्चन एंड आई कैन ऑलमोस्ट एश्योर यू that you will find these questions writers or concept very certainly in your upcoming paper so without wasting any more time in introduction let's roll to our first question friends and this question is basically one of the very popular formats uh, which is asked in a net exam that is matching columns and what you have to do you have to match these famous books on cultural studies uh, with their writers when i uh, use this term writers i obviously mean both writers and sometimes it include editors too so first book is dialectic of enlightenment now friends this is very important text uh, related with cultural studies and i hope all of you who are very earnestly preparing for this uh, particular attempt they should know about this dialectic of enlightenment second book my friends is aesthetic theory now aesthetic theory many writers right from time of longinus have worked on it and it is still Uh, going on the debate is going on what should be counted in aesthetics and what should not towards a rational society it is rather a relevant and new work and one dimensional man these four books and we you options hai wo hai organ hebermas theodor adorno max horkheimer and theodor adorno and herbert marcus so these four option you have to match agar dekhiye ye ek simple trick hai i hope mere se better aap naye scholars hain you know these tricks ke agar aapko kisi ek ya do book ke bare mein confirmation hota hai you should go for it chaliye options dekhein uh first b second a third d four c b c d a c b a d and c d b c लेट्स uh, सी कि देखिए सबसे ज़्यादा हमें जो एस्थेटिक थियरी ये काफ़ी पॉपुलर बुक है फ्रेंड्स और एस्थेटिक थियरी के जो राइटर हैं वो एडोर्नो हैं दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन बुक देखिए सेकंड का बी कौन कौन सा ऐसा ऑप्शन है देर इज़ आई थिंक ओनली वन ऑप्शन दैट इज सी तो कोई इसमें दिक्कत वाली बात रहती ही नहीं है वैन यू हैव दिस ओनली वन ऑप्शन वेयर इट इज सैड दैट Uh, this book combination meets so that's why and now you can see first c first c third a and 4d 
first di uh, dialectic of enlightenment it is basically edited by these two persons towards a rational society it is once again by uh, habermas and one dimensional man it is by herbert marcus so these are some books okay going for our next question that is friends theory lesbian and gay sexualities it was published in 1991 in the feminist cultural studies journal differences and it gave to the title very important uh, uh, field of studies these days queer theory now we have to identify who wrote this article in this magazine so now you have three important information first the name of this article or essay queer theory lesbian and gay sexualities second in which journal it was published it was published in differences it was because of this article we have this name queer theory now we have to identify third important thing who is the writer of this article whether it is judith butler the most prominent name in queer theory gail rubin Eve Kosowski Sedgwick uh, once again she is a very important critic related with queer theory or Teresa de Lauritz dekhi in sab ke andar don't get confused yes these are very popular name these two are i hope all of you have heard about this but at present our answer is friends Teresa de Lauritz it was she who wrote this article and because of her article that we have this term theory okay moving forward to our next question friends one of the founding editors of public culture public culture is name of an important journal in cultural and social studies especially in southern asia and he is also writer of this very very popular and important book the social life of things commodities in cultural perspective 1986 के अंदर ये बुक पब्लिश हुई थी दिस स्कॉलर इज नोन फॉर इज वर्क इन मीडिया एंड कल्चरल स्टडीज ही बिलोंग्स टू सदर्न एशियन कल्चरल स्टडीज विच इज अ हॉट स्पॉट ऑफ कल्चरल स्टडीज फॉर पास टू डेकेड्स आपको बताना है देखिए दो चीजें वापिस एक थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन फर्स्ट इज पब्लिक कल्चर इट इज नेम ऑफ ए जर्नल which is related with cultural and social studies so you must know about this public culture second the social life of things commodities in cultural perspective this is name of a book which was published in 1986 now your options are ashish nandi arjun padrai ajaz ahmed or jiaudin sarkar all four are very much Uh, talked about written about in cultural studies arena and correct answer for this particular question friend is arjun appadurai who is a scholar of cultural studies and he has his special field of interest in the southern asian cultural studies okay so i hope you will remember this name arjun appadurai who knows you will find him in one of the questions asked in your net exam okay friends moving forward now from our eastern part we should we move to the western part and to the america the first american afri Af sorry first african american president of uh, modern language association देखिए अमेरिका के अंदर मॉडर्न लैंग्वेज एम एल ए मॉडर्न लैंग्वेज एसोसिएशन है दिस पर्सन हु ह्यूस्टन बेकर जूनियर ही वॉज द फर्स्ट अफ्रीकन अमेरिकन प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ दिस एसोसिएशन ही इज वाइडली रेकग्नाइज एज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रॉलिफिक एंड इंपॉर्टेंट अफ्रीकन अमेरिकन स्कॉलर्स दिस वर्क बाय हिम नाउ यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई अ वर्क which work which is basically a study of connection between music uh, especially folk music literature and black culture okay these all four books these are written by uh, houston baker he is a very important name in afro american studies and he has basically promoted 
the native African art and he has also talked about the marginalized sections of Afri Africans in American society. This particular book is a very interesting read friends in which he has talked about the native element in African American community. Okay, the name of the book and the answer is Singers of Daybreak. This is the book in which he has uh, find out the connections between uh, folk music, literature and black culture. Okay, moving ahead, uh, we have very important definition. Gender is the, I hope ye uh, question mujhe explain na karna pade, it is of such great importance, all of you know, must know about it. Gender is the repeated stylization of the body. Now this line itself is very important. Repeated stylization of the body, a set of repeated acts within a highly rigid regulatory frame that congeal over time to produce the appearance of substance of a natural sort of being. I hope you got it that uh, what basically decides something is that gender ki definition di hai Judith Butler ne aur isi ki wajay se Judith Butler ka naam gender studies ke is concept se joda jata hai in charo mein se hume identify karna hai ek baar phir se for your clarification let's uh, talk about this definition that gender is uh, pehle there was a discussion a debate that basically uh, sex is biological determined and gender is uh, a social construct. Kuch is tarah ki baat she is also doing same talk and she is saying that gender is what? What we repeatedly perform, what we per repeatedly do uh, again and again in a reg strictly uh, regulatory, regulatory frame that is society congeal over time it becomes habitual it becomes part and parcel of our daily routine and it gives the appearance that it is a natural sort of being it is a normal kind of thing one who doesn't do these particular performance they are considered to be the abnormals or queer so gender ke saath joda wa ye jo performance hai iski wajah se i now the answer is quite uh, easy one it is known as performativity uh, other terms queerness a creature feminine and lesbian continuum all these terms especially these two terms are also very important i uh, suggest that you should also understand you should also read about these terms uh, okay our next question friends once again dekhe and by basically giving this question my purpose is twofold not only to tell you the idea for especially those who are giving the net paper for the first time but also uh, for to tell you about some important books rather than just think who is the writer of this book and four options i think this is a much better idea to always have this column matching which will give which will uh, allow you to practice okay this time we have uh, books related with queer and disability studies my friends you will be uh, thinking that why i have included queer questions into cultural studies so i must uh, tell you that queer studies though it's a separate field of study it's a separate theoretical framework but still it is quite common uh, with the phenomena with the apparatuses of cultural studies okay so these are some books which are related with queer and disability studies you have to identify the correct matching first the name of books are exile and pride crypt theory cultural science of queerness and disability epistemology of the closet very popular book and gender trouble i hope all of you especially who have already given net or you or who have joined some coaching or reading some books you should know about these two books not only the titles but the gist but the summary of these two books must be known to you people and the options are Eve Sedgwick, Judith Butler, Ali Clear and Robert McCrewer. So our options friends are uh, 
first D, second C, third A, four B, C, D. Okay, what we can do? We can we know uh, almost uh, with certainty that gender trouble it is written by Judith Butler. Episteme epistemology of the closet it is written by E. Sedgwick. So you have third A and fourth B. Let's uh, see the options. Third A and 4b okay now this one is tough one because we have two similar options you either you have to know the third answer or you have to make a wild guess in this case it is first to see uh, the book uh, related with uh, disability studies exile and pride it is written by ali clear and crypt theory once again a book related with disability studies it is written by robert macrova Okay, friends. Moving forward to our next question: Impossible desires, key diasporas, and South Asian public cultures. As the name suggests, it focuses on the previously ignored female queer diasporic subject. These all are emerging new fields where. Uh, the writers are talking about marginalized and double marginalized uh, subjects writer of this books now these main names jasbi pua uh, gayatri spiva gayatri gopinath and sham selvadurai all these are working on diaspora all these are working on feminism all these are also working on queer and uh, colonial post colonial discourses so maybe these names are new but i hope now you have known the name dekhe friends ek baat main aapko hamesha kehna chahunga ki ye jo options hai friends these options uh, you must not only think about the answer you must not hasten to look at the answer but you should try to note down all the options and then search by yourself about these options why i have included these options and one more request dekhi aage badhne se pehle main ye kehna chahunga Uh, if you are watching these videos if you are liking the stuff uh, you should give a like button you should press the like button to the uh, these videos so that i can understand that i am going on the right direction i need this support from you people and also your suggestions how to make these videos better what should i include and what should i avoid okay talking about the answer friends it is gayatri gopinath is she is a very young scholar and she has written about the queer diasporic subject okay so friends moving forward to our next question credited with bringing the operation of women and lesbian to the forefront of poetic discourse famous african american uh, sorry famous american poet has written the essay it is one of the cardinal essays compulsory heterosexuality and lesbian existence this is the name of the essay i can tell you that this essay is so important you can find it directly as a question to inspire change about lesbian visibility and to discuss the role of literary criticism in relationship to lesbianism the name of this writer is whether it is adrian rich sylvia plath Sara Ahmed or Barbara Smith uh, you may have heard or you may have read about these two name Adrian Rich and Sa Sylvia Plath and i suggest also try to find out about these two writers at present friends our answer is Adrian Rich she is one of the earliest advocates of ad, uh, visibility to lesbianism okay our next question says and this one is very important also interpretation is shaped by a complex of relationships between the text the reader look out kin kin ke beech mein relationship hota hai it is between the text the reader reading writing printing publishing and history which history the history that is inscribed in the language of the text and the history that is carried in the readers reading both type of histories from the writers side and from the readers side 
so it's a interpretation is not a simple reading and getting the meaning writing or generating the meaning it is a complex it is a complex set where tax reader reading writing how it is printed how it is published what are the history of publication what is the history of publication all these things such a history has been given a name by the bulgarian french philosopher and psychoanalyst Julia Kristeva one again once again a very important name in post structuralist uh, critical theory or ye term kya ho sakti hai dekhiye again four very important terms hyperreality simulacra intertextuality or hypertextuality friends please try to read and understand these concepts i am planning to make a quiz make some questions on post structuralist theory also uh, please uh, suggest me kin topics par hum ye question banaye uh, so that aapke wo kaam aa sake okay answer for this is obviously i hope many of you already know about this it is intertextuality okay friends last question for today's uh, lesson according to ronald barthe when we start to treat a connotative sign as a denotations and thereby accepting them as if they were natural or unchanged we start to create i hope you get the meaning there are basically connotative signs then we start to treat them as denotative connotative is mere suggestive it is not directly related but it is suggestive while denotative is directly so kabhi kabhi kya hota hai when it is just a connotation after a long time jisko kabhi kabhi hum do it does not apply exactly hum dead metaphor bhi bol sakte hain when metaphor lost its metaphoricality tab hum ek cheez create karte hain jis term ko unhone naam diya ऑप्शन uh, से अपने पास सिंबल uh, और मिथ और टेक्स्ट और मेटाफर रोनाल बाथे का ये मानना था कि समटाइम्स इट हैपन्स कि हम इतना ज़्यादा उस साइन uh, को यूज करते हैं दैट इट बिकम्स ऑलमोस्ट डेनोटेटिव ओके फ्रेंड्स इट इज मिथ इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट बिकम्स मिथ देखिए देर आर सो मैनी डिस्कशंस एट प्रेजेंट गोइंग ऑन इन द वर्ल्ड विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज पोस्ट ट्रुथ वर्ल्ड वेयर वी से दैट वी आर वंस अगेन ट्रीटिंग कॉनोटेटिव इन टू डेनोटेटिव ओके फ्रेंड्स दिस वॉज आर लेक्चर टूडे आई होप यू आर feeling uh, you are getting this why that these questions are important i once again request you to come watch and like your own channel lit e city where you will find different lessons related with literature uh, we have discussed about the poet some important text and we will continue to do so it's a our common basically uh, ground uh, related with literatures more questions related with cultural studies Uh, we will try to make videos and if you are interested in pdf of these lessons if you are interested in material related with these uh, basically cultural study notes you can whatsapp me at this particular number and friends i once again only make one uh, request that please like my videos if you find them good one thank you friends